Team, keep it clean. Freelance in the building, baby. Hopefully for not too much longer, though. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, somebody who is not freelancing. I saw a lot of Ravens fans getting all hyped, like, oh man, is, is Lamar Jackson recruiting Zay Flowers to the Ravens? Because Lamar posted Zay Flowers some his shoes on his Instagram, and that had a lot of Ravens fans feeling like it's so, oh, okay. But anyway, somebody who is also currently freelancing, uh, that would be former Ravens defensive lineman, uh, Calais Campbell. Uh, Calais Campbell is somebody who the Baltimore Ravens, they acquired via trade uh, a couple years ago. And he was one of those players, like, you can't say this about everybody, but he's one of those players that they played for a couple of different teams before because he played for the Cardinals, he played for the Jaguars as well. So they played for a couple of different teams before, um, but when they got to the Ravens, he was one of those players was, that was like, oh, yeah, you, you should have been here already. You, you, you definitely are a Raven. And, you, again, you can't say that about everybody. Uh, Steve Smith Sr. is also another one of those players where you like, hey, you fit in here perfectly. Because not everybody does, as we all know. But that's a, another topic for another day. But um, Calais Campbell certainly made his mark uh, for the Baltimore Ravens uh, for as long as he's been with the team. Made an immediate impact. And I know he has slowed up a bit, especially last year. And I think he's just tired sometimes. A uh, little bit of it was injury and whatnot. But he's just like, man, y'all got to take me off this field. I need some help. And it's expected that the, the young guys will really step up this year and take a big step forward. Uh, and we'll see how that goes, whether it's with Calais Campbell or it's not. But um, Calais Campbell is somebody who has been pretty good overall with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, but now he is a free agent. And I'm wondering if Calais Campbell is just waiting if he's really waiting and watching to see how things play out with Lamar Jackson before he would decide to go back. Reason I say that is just because of how this thing has been playing out. And I, I take you back uh, a couple weeks ago. Well, about a week and change ago um, on March 13th uh, from and that was around when the Ravens had released Calais Campbell. Jacina Anderson, who has been all over everything for the Baltimore Ravens and really just all over everything, period. Uh, but Jacina Anderson, she said she got a text from Calais Campbell on the next chapter of his NFL future after moving on from the Ravens. And again, this is from March 13th. He said, uh, I love Baltimore, but everything happens for a reason. I'm going to be ready to dominate for someone next season. Some team is going to get a beast out there. So he letting it be known, just reminding everybody like, hey, I ain't done playing. And even before then, he had come on NFL Network and let it be known like, hey, I'm coming back. I'm, I'm playing for my 16th season, so I ain't going nowhere. Um, and a lot of us figured, especially me, I figured it would be with the Ravens, whether they reworked his contract or even if they cut him, but they, they brought him back. But see, when they cut him, it felt different. It was a different type of release, especially for somebody who we expected them to uh, do, make some type of transaction with. Um, if I, I expected them to either rework his deal Or if they cut him I expected them to bring him back at a reduced rate At a reduced salary But when the Ravens cut him It was different because They released this whole statement On Calais Campbell Because normally it would have been oh, Alright we've released Calais Campbell But no they didn't do that They said we released Calais Campbell Oh he's meant so much to the Baltimore Ravens community And the fans and all that stuff da -da -da -da. They did put in there Hey we haven't closed the door on him returning But still to issue that statement I was just like Oh, uh, okay. I ain't see that coming. But Calais Campbell, could he be waiting to see what the Ravens do with Lamar Jackson? That's what it seems like in my eyes. And I think it's a real possibility. Because Calais Campbell is obviously on the back end of his career. He could still play. He could still make some plays. But he's obviously not what he used to be. So I'm sure he wouldn't want to waste time. Calais Campbell has made a lot of money throughout his career. And not saying that he shouldn't try to get the best deal that he could possibly get. But it may not really be all about the bread at this point in his career. Because he's made a lot. He made a whole lot. But and again, nothing wrong with making more. <laughs> like I always say, hey, you players, go, go get your bread. Go get your money. Um, but could Calais Campbell really be waiting on the Ravens to see what happens with Lamar Jackson? Obviously, we know Calais Campbell has been somebody that has continued, well, not recently, because he ain't a Raven no more, but 
when he was still with the Ravens, um, he was somebody that continued to say, hey, we want Lamar Jackson here. Lamar Jackson, hey, I hope that he signs. The Ravens want him here. Lamar Jackson wants to be here. I hope they, that they can get this deal worked out. The Ravens can get to the Super Bowl with Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson gives them the best chance of winning. So Calais Campbell continued to say a lot of those things and, and express his public support for Lamar Jackson. <clears throat> So I wonder uh, if privately he's just sitting back and waiting and watching and being like, hmm, ah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going to happen with Lamar over there, so I, I ain't trying to re resign. And then now we don't know. I don't know if the Ravens have offered him something to come back. I don't know. We haven't heard anything about that. But I just, I wonder, you know. It's been said, it was announced yesterday that he is going to be visiting with the Atlanta Falcons. And see, <clears throat> that got me thinking too. Like, man, it could be that the Atlanta Falcons are int really interested in Calais Campbell. It could be real interest. It could be interest from both sides. Um, because I'm sure, again, at this point in his career, he would not want to waste his time. Because, I mean, if he just wanted to take a trip to Atlanta, he could take a trip to Atlanta. But, I mean, if, if Arthur Blank and him, if they're going to pay for it, I mean, you might as well make a free trip. But, anyway, um, I'm sure he wouldn't want to waste his time. Uh, and the Atlanta Falcons could look at him like, hey, he is an older veteran, but he can bring leadership. Atlanta Falcons are a very young team right now. Uh, they've been going through this rebuilding process. Uh, and I guess <laughs> the rumors were that they could be interested in one Ravens player this offseason But I guess they decided you know we're gonna flip the script We're gonna actually gonna be interested in a different Former Ravens player this offseason That being Calais Campbell And again with leadership Leadership would be probably the biggest thing That he could bring to the Atlanta Falcons uh, Leadership a veteran that Knows what it takes to, to last in this league Knows what it takes to get it done in the league uh, And still going for them 100 sacks Still going for them 100 sacks We're gonna get there one day man He close He close but Anyway, um, I, I just wonder what he's thinking with this whole thing. I wonder if, if it's really causing him to wait. Now, we always talk about how uh, NFL teams, the Ravens specifically, um, and other teams do it, of course, but teams will do this thing where if they're trying to re-sign somebody, uh, they're trying to sign a particular player, um, then a lot of times if the negotiations, they might be going back and forth, uh, but if they just, they haven't been able to close it yet, but they close, but they have been, haven't been able to close the deal yet, they may bring in another player at that same position just to sort of try to put a little pressure on the player that they're negotiating with to let him know like, hey, we want you, to, we want to keep you, but if this don't work out, we're ready to move on in another direction. We've seen it happen time and time again. It's business. We get it. And it's not a, a bad deal. It's just, it's business. It's part of the game. But I wonder if... This could also be Calais Campbell sort of flipping the script, possibly. This is just me thinking out loud. And this is him being like, all right, Ravens, what's up? What's going on? Nah, and, and, but still, while waiting for Lamar Jackson to get that whole thing worked out, and who knows when that's going to be. But this could be Calais Campbell letting the Ravens know, like, hey, this other team's interested in me. And I'm willing to move on. And like he said when he texted Jacina Anderson, like, hey, somebody going to get a beast out of me. Whoever I'm playing for next, they're going to get a beast out of me. So that's publicly putting it out there. Like, hey, Ravens, it's, it might not be you, my friends. Y'all may not be the ones who that, that I'm suiting up for next season. So y'all better get it right. Whether you come with me with the right offer or I'm going to get right somewhere else. I'm going to get right somewhere else. And then, but of course, even before that, just him watching the whole Lamar Jackson thing play itself out and just sitting in the background, just wondering, waiting, and watching. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Again, so much this offseason, we just we just don't know, man. We just don't know. Um, I, I put out a, a tweet yesterday. Um well, I said, uh, with everything going on between Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, it's just one of those things that we won't really know till we know. Uh, we heard this and we hear that and we've all drawn our own conclusions on what we think things mean and what we think is true or not. But we just really don't know. We will eventually. But for now, we just don't know. And that's OK, because it is OK. 
I know there's been some people like, oh man, this let's this the whole thing needs to just move forward so we can get back to Ravens football. <laughs> what football is going on right now? Because whenever I hear somebody say that, what football is happening right now? What Ravens football is happening right now? Ain't no football going on. We ain't even at the draft yet. Like we, what is it? It's March twenty. It's March twenty second. Like ain't, ain't no football for another five months. So talking about getting back to so we can all get back to Ravens football. Even if Lamar was signed, we would not be getting back to no Ravens football right away. We still got a long way to go. But this whole thing, I mean, I, I know a lot of people have sort of tried to take it personal and be like, man, I'm I'm, I'm tired of waiting on this. I'm tired of this. This is wasting my time. They need to hurry up. <laughs> What's gonna happen after it gets done? After whatever get whatever gets done gets done, whether he signs, whether he don't sign, whether he trade, what whatever happens, then you're gonna have to wait another like five, six months to anything for any football. So, I mean, you might as well. Just, I mean, you got no choice but to wait it out. Got no choice but to sit it out. So, yeah, you, you got time. That's basically what I'm saying. You got time. This is not taken away from any football yet. Not yet. It, I, and will it reach that? I don't think so. I don't think it is going to reach the season. But, hey, we'll, we won't know till we know. So, just like I think that Calais Campbell is doing, we all just got to sit back and watch and wait. Because not only could Calais Campbell be watching how this whole thing played out, but so much of the NFL could be too. Whether guys are free agents or not, whether they're potential free agents, just players in general. Play, uh, collegiate players coming into the league Players that are currently in the league So many people are just watching And wondering What is going to happen Well We just don't know 